Berlin has made a spectacular debut on the Global Champions League and the local enthusiastic crowds have really got behind the world-class competition. Looking for success on home soil were the Berlin Lions, whilst looking to defend their spot at the top of the league leaderboard with the Hamburg Diamonds. Let's see how it played out here in the beautiful surroundings of the Sommergarten. With its amphitheatre feel, the fans watched the sport unfold from the luxury of the surrounding lawns and VIP terraces. Course designer Frank Rothenberg set a fair track for the first round, but the tight oval sand arena caught out some of the world's best with faults spread around the course. Any fence here today is very expensive indeed because there's so many clear rounds. Home team, the Berlin Lions, crashed out of the running in front of their local fans as the penalties racked up, but elsewhere it could hardly have been tighter. At the halfway point of the competition, nine teams all finished on four penalties, whilst there were three teams at the top on double clears. Crucially, going through to the second day with no faults were ranking leaders Hamburg Diamonds. Very, very zero, well zero been. score for Hamburg Diamonds. They are certainly shining bright in the afternoon sun today here in Berlin. As well as their main rivals, Valkenfahrt United. A win here this weekend could take the armband back for the boys in blue and orange. The fastest of the three teams though and flying into pole position came the super speedy team of Dennis Lynch and Georgina Bloomberg of Miami Glory. Oh brilliant, lovely lovely round. So of nine teams that could, nine teams that gave us a first rider clear, only three have made it double clear Miami Glory. Join the Hamburg Diamonds and Valkenswald United on a zero score going into day two of Global Champions League jumping tomorrow. With another tough course for round two, the competition was wide open. Some crucial team changes came from the London Knights who put in world number one Kent Farrington alongside Ben Mayer. Miami Glory also changed their team, fielding Scott Brash alongside Dennis Lynch. The home team, the Berlin Lions, treated the crowds to a sensational double clear after Max Kuhner and under-25 talent Anna Kelnerova put in a flawless effort. Sadly, the faults carried through meant that the team wouldn't finish on the podium, but the crowds were delighted with their home city team's performance. Up and down the order, every pole became costly. And after Ben Mayer and Kent Farrington of the London Knights put in a stunning double clear, the team shot up the scoreboard. The battle for the podium put huge pressure on the riders, with Eric Lamars of the Hamburg Diamonds riding a superb round on the opposing Chaco Kid. His teammate Jos Valoy needed to follow up with a clear on the young horse Igor. He is jumping here for either silver or gold today in the league. Keep him off it, Jos. Oh, oh no! He's opened the door for Valkens Hard United and maybe also for Miami Glory. Following Alberto Zorzi's fantastic clear, all eyes turned to Valkensvard United's Bertram Allen. Oh, and it's gone. Right, now, so and now it's, it's a late, time. A late fence as well. Now he's got no chance of making up the time. And he knows it. Do you he's know what got Miami Glory now. here could come from behind and snatch this? They could. Hamburg Diamond safely on 123 seconds. You know what, Bertram's quick across the ground though. Look, they're still faster. With a dramatic four faults earlier on from Miami Glory's Dennis Lynch and the chasing teams also on four, Scott Brash had to go clear and fast to take the win. Good turn. Oh, no, it's Goodness gone. Me. So it's the third run of the season for the blue and orange. Valkens Vard United putting them tantalisingly close to regaining the championship lead. The ever-consistent Hamburg Diamonds took another podium position in second, with the London Knights securing third. Yeah, well, I thought I had to jump a clear round, so I was trying my best to do that, and then my horse was jumping great, and I'd won down, so then I, I knew I had to be fast because there was a few on four falls, so I, I took off as quick as I could. Yeah, I'm so happy for our victory, and uh, our horse jumped very good today, and uh, I hope uh, we keep going. The Hamburg Diamonds still sit at the top of the overall rankings with 221 points, but Valkensvard United are hot on their heels with 213, and the Mexico Amigos sit just behind on 188. The next round of action heads to the spectacular new destination of London, where the Royal Hospital Chelsea will be the backdrop for the 12th round of thrilling action in the battle for the title.